All right, does the concept of maternal instinct do more harm than good? According to the Toronto Star, uh, a Toronto Star columnist, new research debunks the myth that caring for a baby is an innate skill in birth moms. And that's good news for adoptive parents. What do you think of this? I, I mean, I have so many thoughts about this because I think that the author is right in many ways, that this idea that you're just going to come out and know exactly what to do has led a lot of moms um, to think, oh my God, I'm doing this wrong or I'm a failure at this because I don't just know how to yeah. do this. Like breastfeeding is the one that comes up a lot. Mm -hmm. Breastfeeding is hard. It is hard work. And if you don't have the support needed, um, you know, for a million and one reasons, it can be impossible. So. I, I get what the author is trying to say. On the other hand, part of me thinks that this idea of instinct, I don't want to throw it out completely. Mm -hmm. Because I think of one example. Um, everyone's heard of the ferberizing concept, like the ferberizing your baby. It was a real trend for a while. What's that? Where it was based on this theory, this doctor, Dr. Richard Ferber, who is a so-called expert in sleep, who made parents, you know, here's how you let them cry it out. This is not a new concept right. before that Dr. Benjamin Spock in like, I think the forties was also saying the same thing. Like you don't want to have the, the tyrannical, um, you know, relentless nature of children to take over your life. So you train them to cry it out. We just had Dr. Gabor Mate on the show. He's an expert in trauma. And he's like, this is one of those things where it's actually your instinct. Most mothers will tell you, if you hear your child screaming before you're ready to actually have them cried out, if you're just being doing it because society tells you you should, it goes against every maternal instinct. You feel it in your gut. I see a lot of women who are nodding at this. Mm -hmm. And I think that what's happened is, is that some of the um, business of baby making has been taken away from women. And this just reminds me, I'm just gonna sum up, which is like the patriarchy is the problem here, is that the, the, what, what used to happen and still happens in many parts of the world is that women would learn from their elders, from their community, from their other women, and they would be supported by them. What happened? Men took it away and put it in the thing, and now they're still telling us, you know, what we should and should not do when it comes to it. So somewhere in between, I don't wanna lose the idea of instincts entirely, because I think that undermines some but kind of quality. But can it just be human instinct instead of maternal of course, instinct? Yeah. Sure, it yeah. can be. I think yeah. that is, too, like what I buck up against is that phrase, maternal instinct, particularly because I have a dad who was a single dad yes. and raised me for a number of years and relied on instinct, not obviously not maternal instinct, but paternal instinct. And I and he had to learn along the way, but... Isn't that how all of us parents yeah. figure it out? So, I think the reason why I do take issue issue with this term instinct, maternal instinct is for that very reason. When you say patriarchy, you couldn't have hit it on the head better for me, because I think that saying that something is specifically a maternal instinct is the patriarchal's way of continuing to see women in one dimension and abdicates men of their responsibility in raising their own children. Mm -hmm. And to me, that idea of a radical idea, once upon a time, of a father taking a six month or a 12 month paternal leave. That's still not common. Mm -hmm. And why? Because we think that it should be the mother at home and ask any working mom who went to back to work very soon after their child was born. I got a lot of comments about yeah. that. Like, it's against what you, your body is telling you you should be doing. And it's like, okay, well, what if I were to tell you that dad's at home with the child? Mm -hmm. you know, like exactly. it's, it really is to me such a construct to really do damage to a woman's psyche. When I wasn't bonding with my child when she was born, I said, something's wrong with me. Mm -hmm. I actually said, I see it on TV. I see it with my friends. I'm supposed to be gushing with love. Mm -hmm. It's everything I ever imagined. It's so beautiful. This is amazing. And I never said that. And I said, do I have postpartum depression? Something's wrong with me. I wasn't supposed to be a mother. That is because people were telling me it's supposed to just kick in. Mm -hmm. You know what it was like? All these years later, it was learning that it's a relationship like any relationship. It took time for me yep. to build a bond with her and to get to know her and her to know me. And of course I love my child to death. Was I born with that? Was she born mm -hmm. with that? Hell no! No. Yeah. And some days I still don't like her, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's, it's she's not phase. listening to me, exactly. but, that, but that's it's what I'm saying. Let's, yeah. let's let women off the hook and let's get men part of this process. And mm -hmm. of course, in a heterosexual relationship is where right. I'm, I'm coming from in my experience. Exactly, exactly. And I really agree with a lot of the points that you've all made. I think one of the things that tripped me up a little bit in just 
before I got too deep into the article, is, like you said, I don't want to let go of the instinct totally, just because I know for myself, also looking at my ex-husband, who did not carry the child. There are just certain things that happen to our brains, to the way we functioned, that can only be explained through the process of having this child. So there's something on, like, a very basic evolutionary basis that that's the only way I can explain it. And I don't think... There is, I, I don't think, sometimes there's a little bit of hubris to science that is trying to figure out every little piece of everything. Mm -hmm. And I don't think everything can be figured out mm -hmm. that way to be tidied up into like a neat little article to say, this is true, this is false, this is valid, this is not. Yeah. So it's somewhere in the middle, but I really agree with the fact that this is not just maternal instinct. There's human instinct to it and, and it takes all parties as well. Yeah, it takes mm -hmm. a village. It does. That means something, it really it does. does. Hey there, wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like and subscribe.